Good morning, friends. Welcome to group time with Miss Shannon. Let's start off by singing a good morning song. Ready? Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, and how are you? Well, how are you today, friends? I hope you're doing well, and I hope you're having a great day today. Well, do you know what day it is today? <laughs> it's our fourth day of school, so that makes it Thursday. Good job if you got that right. Let's sing our uh, Days of the Week song, shall we? Ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Well, there's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then comes Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Good job, friends. Well, today we are going to be looking at another type of mammal or another group of mammals. Um, this group is called uh, marsupials. So, marsupials are kind of like placentals. They give birth to live young, but when they have their babies, the babies are not fully developed yet. So the babies can't, um, maybe they won't be able to walk, maybe they can't um, crawl, uh, or they can't really see. So they're not really fully developed yet. Um, so, they stay in their mummy's pouches. So, do you know what kind of animal has a pouch? Because um, we have a few in Australia. We have the kangaroo. And the kangaroo keeps its babies, it keeps a little joey in its pouch. Um, and we also have koalas. Koalas are also marsupials. When they have babies, their babies stay in their pouches. Shall we read a book about kangaroos? We have The Three Kangaroos Rough by Kel Richards and Shane Johnson. All winter on the higher slopes, the three kangaroos gruff grazed upon the winter grass of which there was enough. But as spring turned into summer, they hopped down to the plain to eat the tasty grasses brought on by heavy rains. They had to cross a narrow bridge that spanned a billabong, and underneath that narrow bridge lived a bunyip, mean and strong. As kangaroo gruff number one hopped above the banks, the bunyip roared, I'll chase you and catch you and cook you up and have myself a feast. Kangaroo Gruff number one called out, Mr. Bunyip, I am quite small. Wait till my bigger brother comes. He is both fat and tall. So the Bunyip is going to wait for the next kangaroo. Very well, agreed the Bunyip. You are allowed to pass. So kangaroo gruff number one hopped off towards the summer grass. When kangaroo gruff number two hopped above the beaks, the bunyip roared, I'll chase you and catch you and cook you up and have myself a feast. Kangaroo gruff number two called out, I'm only a middle-sized geezer. geezer. Wait till my bigger brother comes. He'll fill your entire freezer. Hmm? Very well, agreed the bunyip. You are allowed to pass. So kangaroo gruff number two hopped off towards the summer grass. As kangaroo gruff number three hopped above the beast, the bunyip roared. I'll chase you and catch you and cook you up and have myself a feast. Kangaroo gruff number three replied, I'd rather like it if you tried. I'm a big kangaroo, he said, and then he jumped on the bunyip's head. It's a well-known fact that bunyip's squashed flaps won't trouble anyone. So 
the kangaroo gruff number three hopped off to join his brothers in the sun. The end. I hope you like that story, friends. I hope you like looking at um, the two marsupials we looked at today. Well, thank you for joining me, Shannon, for group time. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a good rest of the day. I'll see you soon.